Hey guys, Alex from European Coffee Trip. It's 8 a.m. and our friend Alan, aka Fit Person Arabica, is just opening a coffee shop in Brno. Coffee is dialed in, the music is playing, let's open. We are spending the whole morning shift with him to show you what you usually don't see as a regular customer. Making coffee is just marginal, you know. I don't know what I'm doing. We want to show you what the job of barista is really about, but we came earlier, one hour earlier, so we can show you a full day. It is still dark outside as I enter the coffee shop one hour before opening. So when I come into the coffee shop, turn on the grinders, the batch brewer, the other grinders, the kettles, and now to turn on the most important equipment here after the coffee machine, that is the dishwasher. I weigh the dose for the batch brew, grind and brew. As the batch brew is getting ready, I go upstairs to put on my apron and grab the coffee to fill up the hoppers. The baskets, the shower screens and grinders are perfectly clean. Now, dialing in the coffee. It just feels too exciting to be anything less than a highlight of our pre-opening routine. Yeah, finish is clean, smooth, a little bit velvety, nicely balanced. Now the music on and we are ready to open. I love early mornings here. The place is getting full slowly and there is a relaxed atmosphere in the air. More sunlight is slowly coming through the big windows to touch the white walls, making the space feel warm. For now, it's mostly takeaway orders from regular customers heading to work with our cappuccino or batch brew. Very easy going morning, very slow. Small talks, smiles, some breakfast. Just had one breakfast order, so we put it in the kitchen. Adam will take care of it. There is time for tasks to do, like ordering milk and liquors for the coffee shop. The Motown music playlist is vibing as I'm stacking the tulips and visually checking the tables. My eyes go from left to right as I'm looking for empty cups and plates. As a barista, when I'm pouring milk, I need to look around, look at the tables and make the impression that I know what I'm doing and that I know what's going on in here. So most of the time I don't really, that's why I have these two amazing co-workers here. And both of my co-workers have already joined us to help with the service. I'm starting to focus more on the routine around the coffee machine. Proper distribution, back flushing and cleaning the shower screen is important for maintaining the clarity of espresso. I'm cleaning the group heads every 40 minutes. And most of the time I'm just looking for something, you know, last. How many coffees do you drink per day? Um, how many coffees or how many, how many liters of coffee? It's about 10 a.m. and it's time for another coffee break. So we are taking cappuccino and some cake. People come to sit for breakfast and enjoy the morning coffee. Some work from here, but mostly it's small groups of people coming, four at maximum, as we follow the regional pandemic restrictions. Making coffee is just marginal. I think I spend equally the same time here and behind the coffee machine. When there is a rush, you know, just making coffees, but otherwise it's polishing, cleaning. So we are at the ladies' restroom right now. 20 is about sanitizing everything, so let's just do that. And of course, good to go. Okay, so it's lunchtime, so of course we order some food to eat, but I wonder what about Alan? When, when do you eat? The hospitality industry people, we eat while standing. When it's time, we have a lunch, but I learn to skip my meals and do kind of intermittent fasting. So you kind of eat before your shift and after? Yes. So you guys enjoy your meal, it looks delicious. Uh, I'm gonna do the dishes, right? <laughs> now we know. 
We are two days away from another complete lockdown in the Czech Republic. So we are expecting a little bigger rush than usual around these hours. Customers come in for a pumpkin curry and filter coffee. We are all over the place behind that small bar, moving quickly like cats, preparing beverages and washing dishes, sanitizing. V60s, specialty teas and hot chocolates are very common orders now. We are polishing a lot of plates and glass and we are taking more orders for wine from our customers. As I'm making more coffees, I'm cleaning the barista station more. Coffee meme ideas are swirling around my mind like milk in a jug, but there is no time for that now. What customers might not see is the fact that the barista always uh, modulates the orders just to fit the best workflow. Meaning that if you have five lattes, a V60 and a tea, and then two espressos can come in, you do the two espressos at first because it takes you like 40 seconds. So skipping the orders is pretty everyday routine everywhere. The place is packed. People come and go, space is breathing quickly like an exhausted athlete and the afternoon shift is coming to help. The timing is perfect as the two of us behind the coffee machine can finish the orders quickly. Now the most annoying part of visiting the coffee shop, you have to pay. The rest of the afternoon shift came behind the counter. Time to wrap up the morning and go upstairs to count the cash, split the tips and change the clothes. I'm gonna count the money and uh, see you later. Actually the, the most annoying part of, of this job, I, I hate this. But making money is important, right? If you watch Alan closely during the shift, it could surprise you that coffee making takes only about 50% of his time. Cleaning, brushing, washing and polishing is important and takes another 35%. Still, the remaining 15% is crucial. That's dedicated to communication, talking to colleagues, but most importantly to customers, making them feel welcome. So, Alan's barista shift is over. What does he think about it? The shift was pretty intense. So my IQ dropped like 80 points down and I'm very sorry, I have nothing really meaningful to say <laughs> so enjoy your day see you next time perfect bye bye, bye. <laughs>